The Legion of Superheroes is a 30th century team of teenage superheroes that protects the united planets of the known galaxy. With such a large area of territory to cover, the Legion is very large and it has some extremely powerful and capable heroes. I'm Adam and today on Top 10 Nerd we're going over 10 of the most powerful ones. Number 10 Karate Kid While Val Armour, Karate Kid does not have any powers of his own, he makes up for that fact by being the absolute best best martial artist in the known universe. And I ain't even kidding. He has learned a form of super karate that has allowed him to stand one on one against Superboy during his audition to be part of the Legion. When Val was still young and an orphan, Japan's greatest warrior took him in. Sensei Toshiaki taught Val multiple different martial arts. Under this training, Val was able to become the youngest warrior to ever earn the title of samurai. Learning all he could from Earth, Val set off into space to find new martial arts to learn and master. With this mastery over so many different forms of martial arts, Karate Kid is absolutely one of the most powerful Legion of Superheroes members even without powers of his own. Before we carry on, there are tons of members of the Legion of Superheroes with all kinds of powers. So my question for you today is, who in your opinion is the most underrated member of the Legion and do you think they will make this list? Answer in the comments and we'll carry on. Number 9 Sensor Girl Projectra Windsor is a princess on the very very medieval planet Orondo. But the title of Princess Projectra just ain't cool enough for her. So instead, she goes by the much cooler name of Sensor Girl which is the name she's had since joining up with the Legion in 1966. But why is she one of the most powerful members of the Legion? Well, Sensor Girl's powers allow her to cast illusions, but the illusions are so gosh darn realistic that the one who is being illusioned, for lack of a better term, cannot tell the difference. With time, this has basically become a form of controlling senses, or even shutting off someone's senses altogether. It may not seem like an incredibly powerful offensive ability, but when Nemesis Kid of the Legion of supervillains took the life of Karate Kid, Sensor Girl's husband, she was able to use her powers and skill to defeat Nemesis Kid. She's also incredibly fast and can take on most characters in hand to hand combat thanks to her training with Karate Kid. She's even gone on to lead the team back before it was rebooted post zero hour. Number 8 Chameleon Boy Chameleon Boy, the son of RJ Brand, the founder of the Legion of Superheroes, is a shapeshifter just like all those of Durlin descent. Durlin's can shapeshift at any time for any length of time with basically no limitation on the size or shape thanks to the fact that they have near total control over their molecular biology. It basically means that they have no specific chosen form except for what they choose for themselves, which by the 30th century was an orange humanoid with large eyes and two antennae on their heads. This makes Chameleon Boy, or Reap Daggle, which is the best name ever, able to do a lot. He can perform bio fish to create multiples of himself and biofusion with others of his race and can even use this to turn into an actual functioning spaceship. Meaning that this species can create electricity, thrust, and oxygenated air supply which by default means they can manipulate the elements. Members of this race can even reconstitute themselves from even a liquid form. They also automatically absorb complete details of any person, creature, or things structure down to poor differences so that they can duplicate it perfectly whenever they wish. Chameleon Boy is nuts. Number 7 Ultra Boy This one is interesting as you'd be totally forgiven for actually laughing at this character but then you'd have to say sorry as you just insulted an incredibly powerful dude. Ultra Boy or Joe Na possesses many of the same powers as Superboy including superhuman speed, strength, flight, stamina, breath, vision and invulnerability which he gained from being swallowed by an energy beam beast, which is essentially a giant space whale, hence the biblical Jonah name. The only issue with Jonah, and it's a big one, is that he can only use one power at a time. This means that if he wants to fly through space at super speed, he must wear a space suit to survive in the cold vacuum. Or when using his power for super strength, he is not invulnerable and then therefore can get tired feel muscular pain or even pull a muscle. Joe Na can switch these abilities almost instantly but needs to make the conscious choice to do so, which honestly sounds kind of exhausting to me. Despite his limitation, he often works with Mon L and Superboy as the Legion's big three powerhouses and even led the team at one point. Number 6 Brainiac 5 Brainiac? 
On a hero team? Yes, I know, but there are or were numerous versions of the character Brainiac in DC continuity. This one from the 30th century, known as Brainiac 5, is actually a descendant of Brainiac 2, cloned from the original and one of the biggest threats Superman has ever faced. Brainiac 5, or Quirrell Dox from the planet Kolu, is hyper aware of his lineage, and as such, he has made many efforts to set himself apart, making him one of the funniest and most caring members of the team while also being one of the most powerful. Other than being a capable shapeshifter, his power lies mostly in his intellect. Everything that makes him powerful comes from his mind thanks to having 12th level intelligence. He has a level of genius which has no comparison to anything on Earth, which is considered to be a 6th level intellect in its entirety. So essentially, Brainiac is twice as intelligent as the population of Earth, which I mean, have you been outside and talked to another human recently? We aren't that impressive. Number five. Like Lightning Lad. Born on the planet Winath, Gardy Rands, known as Lightning Lad and sometimes Livewire, was forced to land on the planet Korball with his two siblings. Figuring the only way to restore power to their ship was to use the electrical energy of the native electrical beasts, the three attempted to siphon those beasts' power. Unfortunately, or actually fortunately if you want to look at it that way, the act backfired and left the three with superpowers. Guardy and his sister became heroes while their older brother became a lightning themed villain. While Lightning Lad is very centered around the whole lightning thing, his power is actually to manipulate energy, which he usually manifests in the form of blue electricity and lightning bolts. He can use these to shock and disable enemies. So it's not just shocking people though, and powering things. He can manipulate energy and generate it, and also possesses some limited weapons other controlling powers. And he can move at superhuman speed thanks to his ability to channel electricity through his body, which supercharges it. He ain't no chump. Number four, Cosmic Boy. Cosmic Boy, whose real name is Rock Crin, was one of the founding members of the Legion, and also the group's original leader. As such, you'd expect him to be pretty powerful. And he is. Cosmic Boy possesses the power of metal manipulation, similar to Marvel's Magneto, but actually a bit more powerful. Cosmic Boy can repel, attract, and wholly manipulate objects containing any form of metal. He has shown an ability to pull large satellites down from orbit, and he can magnetize objects to make them stick to other similar objects. He can also fly, create force fields, project concussive blasts, and absorb energy using this ability. Coming from his home planet of Brawl, Rock is an incredible natural leader, and it's probably his greatest strength, even above the magnetism powers. After arriving on Earth, he, Garth Rands, and Irma Ardeen successfully stopped the de-lifing of the well-known billionaire R.J. Brand, who brought the three together to start the Legion. Number three, Mon El. Mon El Largand, or Valor, is from the planet Daxum, which is actually one of the planets that orbited the same star as Krypton did. Originally, Daxum was settled by Kryptonian colonists, but over an incredibly long time, these Kryptonians evolved separately and gained some uniqueness. Although on Honestly, not a lot. Mon El and any member of his species who finds themselves in the light of a yellow sun has superhuman abilities somewhat similar to those of a Kryptonian. So yes, just like Superman, he has superhuman strength, invulnerability, super speed, flight, heat vision, and freeze breath, and can use extrasensory powers like x-ray vision. But unlike Superman, he is only weak to lead, not kryptonite, and violently, irreversibly weak to it. Luckily for him though, the Legion has an anti-lead serum thingy, so he is basically Superman without any main weaknesses unless he doesn't take the serum. Number two, Superboy. Superboy was always closely associated with the Legion of Superheroes, being one of the inspirations for the team. But he wasn't from the 30th century like the Legion is. For that reason, most of the early stories featuring the group had Superboy either travel to the 30th century or Legion members dropping in on the 20th century. In terms of power, he's easily one of the most powerful of the group because, well as most of you might know, the the original Superboy was basically just a teenage Superman, but later versions of Superboy are more like the genetic clone of both Lex Luthor and Superman. So due to that, he has the majority of Superman's power, when he was a teenager, mixed with the intelligence of Luthor, which is one hell of a dangerous combo. And then there is Jonathan Kent, who is literally just Superman's son. So any which one you want to choose, Superboy is a powerhouse. And in at number one is Saturn Girl. Saturn Girl, otherwise known as Imra Ardeen, comes from the moon of Saturn. Saturn. Titan. Like all of those great people who come from Titan, in DC Comics specifically, Saturn Girl is inherently gifted with telepathy. But 
Unlike other Titanites, Saturn Girl is extremely proficient with it. Like, really proficient. So much so that among the various DC characters that possess telepathy, Saturn Girl is arguably the strongest of them all. There is almost no defense to Saturn Girl's telepathic attacks, which makes her arguably the most powerful member of the team. While other characters have more physical abilities or control over forms of matter, it doesn't mean much when Saturn Girl can defeat you with a look, like she did to both Ultra Boy and Mon L once. She rendered both men unconscious with a simple look. She has been on every version of the team, and there's an excellent reason for that. Other than being one of the three founding members, she is just too powerful to exclude. And that is the end of the list. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments on my picks for the top 10 most powerful Legion of Superheroes members. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe here at Top 10 Nerd, and hey, if you like anime, make sure to check out our other channel, Most Amazing Top 10 Anime. It's slowly growing and we could use your support. But until next time, I've been your host Adam Andrews. Check me out on Instagram in the description and stay safe out there nerds. Peace out.